Managing a very complex calendar is one of the most daunting and stressful responsibilities even to the most seasoned executive assistants. So how do you successfully tackle your executive's calendar? I'll show you five ways you can do this. Hey guys, thanks for watching my first video on YouTube. My name is Cherie from The Exceptional Assistant and my channel is all about the day-to-day -day responsibilities and scenarios of the professional assistant. So whether you're an executive assistant today looking for new tips and tricks or you're new to the administrative role, this channel will be a great resource for you. I've had the greatest executive mentors throughout the years and this is my platform to share what I know. Now let's get to the video. So how do you manage a very complex calendar? It can be a very stressful and nerve wracking task. You have to know what's important to your executive, who's important to your executive and which calls are the most critical at the moment. And that's not an easy task when you're dealing with a daily calendar that's filled with multiple meeting requests throughout the entire day. And this is a frequent situation that us admins have to work through. The first thing you want to do is set time on your executive's calendar to review his daily agenda for the week. I personally like to meet with my executive first thing on Monday morning. This is a great time to review his calendar before my executive jumps into his workday. I would recommend staying away from scheduling your one-on-one -on -one time on Friday afternoons because too much can happen over the weekend that can impact his calendar and all that work that you did on Friday just went out the window. Also, if you're new to your executive, you're going to have a lot of questions, so give yourself enough time for the discussion. Set a reoccurring one-on-one -on -one meeting for 30 to 45 minutes, and you can minimize the time as you go once you become a little more familiar with his calendar. During your one-on-one -on -one session, verify which platform makes the most sense to include in the meeting invite. Does your executive want to see you in a face-to-face? -face? If so, Zoom, Skype, or Teams will work perfectly. These three platforms also gives you the ability to share your document, and it's always better if your leader can see what you're speaking to. On the other hand, you may have an executive that enjoys the more laid-back approach to just calling yourself, and that works too. And if you're both in the office, your face-to-face -face can be scheduled in his office or somewhere private. Secondly, I cannot express this enough, and I will tell you a hundred times, come prepared. Do not walk into your one-on-one -on -one meeting with your executive without discussion items to cover. Do your work ahead of time so that the process is a quick and easy session for you and for your executive. For example, when I had a new executive start with our organization, I already knew which calls were important, but what I didn't know were which calls were going to be important to him. Have a document in place that lists his meetings and leave enough room at the bottom for your notes. This will provide as to whether he needs to attend specific calls or send a delegate on his behalf, or he may not even need to attend the call at all. This will make the time move quickly and efficiently. Also, this document can also serve as a point of reference for down the road, just in case you can't remember a specific meeting. And it's also a great document if someone is covering for you while you're out of the office. It's an easy roadmap to follow that's important to your executive. Another great tip is to verify who's all invited to the meeting. You can do this by looking at the attendee list. Are there any direct reports that are already included in the meeting? If so, he may feel comfortable enough that there's already representation on the call. His direct reports can update him on what was discussed on the call and this would save him time and space on his calendar. For those critical calls or reoccurring meetings, color code them for an easy at a glance view. For important calls, color them red. For weekly meetings with his managers, color them green. Meetings with his business partners, color them yellow. You get the idea. And lastly, take ownership. Your executive doesn't have time to review everything that's hitting his calendar. He's relying on you to manage it for him. He needs to know what calls he needs to jump into throughout the entire day. So a well-structured calendar makes his busy life a little bit easier every day. So those are my five suggestions how to efficiently and effectively manage an executive's complex calendar. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, and if you have a great tip to share, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone, take care.